Okay, we got Annie. She looks sweet right now. <laughs> you are so antsy. What are you following me around for? Hello. She is a big sweetie. I'll walk away and she's off. Gracie's been running around for the, what, 30 seconds that I've, maybe a little longer, maybe a minute, making a massive mess of the place. Um, it rained, it's been raining like crazy. So uh, they got a little bit of energy today, this morning, it's early morning. The sun is on its way up over that way. So got to get the horses out for some socialization and some exercise and playtime and all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> there goes Annie. She always wants to play. And Gracie's happy to go along with her. Oh, it's a race. Back down. I'd say Gracie's taking Annie's lead a little bit. Yeah, following her around. What do you want to do? Let's run. Okay. <laughs> a lot of snorting. A lot of blowing through the nose, making making some noise. Some extra energy going on there. They should stay close. These two are kind of neat. Uh, if I put just the two of them together, then they tend to stick real close to each other and play. Uh, so I like to put them together for a little bit at first. And uh, as you can see, they're just hanging out real close. <laughs> Although Annie does seem to be a little nervous of Gracie's particular movements. She doesn't want to get stuck. Now I know Annie wants me to get Luke out pretty quick. And currently Yoka's looking like she'd like to come out, so I'm gonna go get her next. Might just have a bit of a girls meet up for a bit. Or I might punish Luke by putting him with all the girls. <laughs> Such a terrible punishment, I know. Annie looks like she's ready to roll. Gracie's ready to roll. As soon as they find the right spot, some synchronized rolling usually happens. There we go. Oh. Now I'm going to make a prediction that when Gracie's done, Annie's going to go over to where Gracie was and try to roll there. But we'll see. Just gotta, just gotta wait for a bit of space. Interesting thing about Annie, quite predictable. Let's see what she does. She's thinking about it, but Gracie's moving in. She's got two spots that she could try. Oh, you see Annie put a little side hip there? That was neat. Let's see what happens. Give it another minute or so and then maybe we'll go get, get the next girl on the list. Oh, pretty quiet. They just go together. It's nice. It's a, it's a very peaceful, usually quite peaceful coexistence. I mean, after they've done their running around. And even at that, that's still quite peaceful. There's not a lot of trouble there. So. Okay, well let's go get Yoka because she was kind of bustling around for a bit there. Okay, I think we're gonna see an excited Lena. I'm gonna let her go. She's already a little dirty. Says I definitely need to have a roll and a scratch. People ask why they roll. 
scratching purposes. <laughs> Just gotta find the right spot. It's usually up closer to the top. I come down because I was gonna get Yoka right after, but I had a feeling something might happen here. Gracie's incredibly excited to have Lena out with her. So. Oh, right on over. One more maybe. And he's excited. Holy smokes, that is a roly-poly horse right there. One more time. She's up. Big shake. Another big shake, just in case. <laughs> the sound of horses in the morning. Yeah, there goes Annie. Oh, she might not roll. Uh, Gracie's rolling. I thought Annie would roll right where Lena rolled. <laughs> Man, you put Lena in and Gracie immediately goes to, everybody stay away from my Lena. It's not a good behavior. It's not a behavior that I would want. Sun's coming out. Huh. Not as exciting as I thought it would be. I thought Lena would get really boogieing around. But she just just had herself a good old roll. Hello, Annie. It's cute how you trot up to me all the time. It's like you're a very busy girl. Right? Very busy, got things to do. What's going on? You got horses coming up behind you. What are they doing? They're grooming. They're not grooming. What's happening here? And he says, hurry up and go get Luke. He's my best buddy. Ever. I want to run into him and push him over and bite him on the neck. It's my fun time. Oh. <laughs> All right, Annie, I'm going to go get some more horses, especially Yoka. Now I'll be back. Come here. Come here. There you go. Oh, hello, Annie. How's it going? <laughs> Uh, cool. It's okay. We've got four. Oh, Yoko's having a roly poly. She's very good at roly poly, but by the way, next to Lena, she's probably the roly poliest. She might be the roly poliest. One more time. Nope. Big shake. Another shake. Yell at Annie a little. And off she goes. Ah, there's the Annie I know. Will she make it over? Come on, Annie, do your best. One more try. And she says, I can't do it, it's too slanted here. I really, really wanted to, but I can't. What's happening to the other girls? Nina's getting shoved around by Yoka a little bit. Oh, and he's off to go talk to Yoka about something. Probably something about being a little taller than her and calling her shorty. Well. Oh, Gracie's having another roll. Very itchy horses, I guess. Sand feels good to scritchy scratch on. Oh. Here she comes. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, fresh water coming out of the ground. I wonder why she turned away like that. I thought she was kind of come all the way up. Okay, well, next up is the boys. The girls are usually quite peaceful. They just kind of meander around and stuff. 
so probably a lot of oh actually there won't be that much water but they'll be full up to where they could be and everybody will be drinking everybody likes the rainwater the most okay let's get boys well i've set luke free obviously and he's immediately down for a roll i think Annie's yeah, excited come on buddy make it over uh you suck oh, shake and take off Whew. It's amazing how horses can shake like this, in my opinion. I can't shake like that. Here comes Annie. She's like, it's my best friend. Yay. Oh. Luke's really good with, uh, uh, he's got all the girls here now, so he's just gonna be in his, his element. That was cool. He's so kind too about stuff, you know, he, he say stuff and mean it, but he doesn't really give a hard time about it. What? I'm being stared at. Uh, this fluffy face is just, I mean the face itself is not fluffy, but that mop on top. It's really hard to resist when she sort of just stares at you straight, you got two eyes and two ears. Oh, he's going for another roll. Come on Luke. Show her what you got. Oh he's dead. Oh he's up. He's alive. Reincarnated. I've confused poor Yoko. She's like, you come all the way up to me and then you do nothing. Yeah, see, there goes Annie again. Same spot. She says, I just want to smell like every other horse. It's the bestest. Hello, Yoka. How can I help you? Oh, did Luke? See? Two. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Gosh, I like Luke's play style. He's fun. Such a neat, she's such a neat presence. You just, you kind of have to be around her to really a lot of movement behind me. I kind of get it, but she's just... What are you doing? <laughs> she's so close I can't even zoom out enough to get her face in there. Take a step back. Okay, so we need more horses, don't we? I think we do. So let's get two more. We've got uh, Roni and Mr. Wild left to get. And I think, I think I'll get Mr. Wild next. <laughs> you are such a neat horse. Yes, you are. Okay, we'll be back. See you later, Fluff. Mr. Wild is free. Oh, Luke's having another roll. Still working on that get over the top thing. <laughs> oh. This guy's really good at rolling pulleys too. He knows exactly how to scratch his back. Shake on the ground. Oh, this is it. <laughs> He's off to go cause some trouble. Second youngest in the herd and a gelding. Um, so he's quite the troublemaker. 
Yeah, everybody's gonna be moving. He brings the energy for sure. Here he comes. It's got everybody going. Looks taking a turn. I'm not doing anything. Oh. Nice. Perfect, perfect positioning. I have to explain, but this is just perfect. What's he gonna do now? He's gotta get through Yoka. See, he can't do that. She says no. Uh, sort you out in all my fluffiness. She's such a powerhouse. Luke, get her, bite her. Oh, she says, stay away. I'm being bitten by Luke right now. Very busy. Oh, <laughs> Oh no! Luke, don't do that! Yikes! Yeah, she wants some attention from you. See her trying to cut Luke out, but he's very busy with Annie. Oh. That's an excitable little Icelandic right there. Yikes! Oh, into the back corner. Everybody's in the corner. Lena says, get out. This is my corner. Chrissy yells, yeah, get out. This is our corner. Here they come. If I don't move much, I can kind of be a little bit innocuous. Wild's on his way up too, and around. Exciting times. Oh, he's having an argument with Gracie a little bit now, which is kind of, kind of good. I don't know who to capture. But these three, which are being an awful lot of fun. Keep clear, buddy. That was a close one. Okay, they're all back together. I gotta go get Roni, I feel bad. <laughs> He's very patient though. You see him just waiting patiently. He's very patient, he knows. Some wilds come in. And then Luke have a chat. And he has a chat. He says, stop it. Wow, a lot of action. So flexible, eh? I've seen a horse take a rider right off its back with its mouth. Just reach back and pull. Just grab and pull, yank. Some dangerous stuff, man. Luke got cut out. Oh no. Oh, I think he's thinking of rolling anyways. Has he done both sides? I think he's only got one side done. Such a neat looking horse. I like him. Kick him, Annie. Right in the shoulder. He says, I don't need to. He moved. It's all good. Luke won that one. Cool, let's go get Roni before... Uh... Oh, he's gone back to eating. Can you even see him? Yeah. Okay, no rush. Oh, trapped in the corner. That's why you make round pens. <laughs> Round pins. Oh, Jesus. That was a close one. Just kind of did drive by by me. Not that he'd do anything, but it's the closest call I've had in a little while. I might have to take a step or something. 
Yeah, I don't have anything in this place that's got round corners. I don't even know if that's a thing. Um, yeah, I just don't... I understand the concept that if you make round corners, it makes it so a horse doesn't get stuck in a corner, but I have yet to see more than maybe two or three times in my life here that a horse has got stuck in a corner. They get out. They just move. They find one way or another. And it's good. They learn not to go into a corner. Like, that's a corner. It's not a very safe place to be. You should learn that. And it all just works out. So I don't worry about it. I like how he's moving Gracie around. He's trying to get Delina, but she doesn't want anything to do with him today. Sometimes she does. But not today. Oh, Roni's back out. Let's go get him. Bring in Roni and everybody looks over. It's like, oh, Mr. Muscles is on his way. Hmm. Yeah, anyways, this is what it kind of looks like when I'm bringing him in. Hey. Calm down. Mm, let's walk you up just a little bit. Sometimes when everybody is here, the last horse, well, it's really only a couple horses that are more trouble than others. And he walks along really nicely. He's such a good boy. Okay, so now we're much closer to the herd. And I feel like it works a little bit better. Oh, carefully. I'm gonna let it drop off of his nose, like that. Ah, he still took off on me. A little too excited. Hard to do with one hand. But there you go. He's gotta have himself a roll for sure. In just the right spot. It's not there. Oh, it is there. But he had to chase off Mr. Wild. Down he goes. Um, hello Annie. How's it going? We're watching Rolly roll right now. Ooh, he's still thinking about the other side. He didn't make it over. Or he's gonna try again. Come on, Rony. He's usually a very good roller. But, oh. Get out of here, guys. This is my rolling spot. Just gotta get the other side done. Oh, what's happening over here? Mr. Wild's going down again. <laughs> Hi, Yoka. What can I do for you today? Hello. And he's up. Immediate left hand turn. And settled. Here it comes. Hello, my friend. That's a very lovely approach. I like your style. What? Oh, that's what it looks like to get chewed on by a horse. You get to experience it in real time on your screen. A horse wants to nibble on you. First they sniff, and they nibble. When they really want to bite, they don't bother sniffing. I keep moving backwards, so I'm essentially teaching him I'll kind of move out of his space. You see how he'll keep moving forward, and if I move backwards enough, he'll move forward. And he'll be thinking, well, I guess I get to move the human around today. So. But he really wants just a good scratch all over, probably. Oh, there's a yawn for you. Okay, I'm gonna step sideways to him instead of backwards, and that will make a difference. It's cold. It's a chilly morning. Uh, as I was saying in the beginning of the video, if you were there, made it to here. Uh, we've had a ton of rain. It has just been absolutely miserable. Today's got a bit of blue sky, so that's nice. I can't help to want to share. It's 
going on with these guys? But I think it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to get colder. We get all our weather from that way. It's not going to be that way for a little while. Oh. Hello, Lena. We can't see your big eyeballs. Let's fix the forelock a smidge. There we go. Now we can see. You need a bit of a cleaning. Horses are usually very good for having their eyes. Hello, Gracie. Can you sort of, you're, you're, you're kind of, come here, Lena. It's just a little more. Um, they're usually very good for having the corner of their eyes cleaned out. And it's the natural spot where all of the gunk will go. Lena, can you put your head up and come here? I want to show people some stuff. So the horse's eye is very interesting in that what, when they blink or they double blink, because they have a second eyelid in there. And what that'll do is it'll push all of the gunk into the corner. And then you can kind of come along and clean it out, give it a bit of a rub, and they'll be very thankful for it. Or most horses will. I haven't really experienced any that aren't. Some might get a little bit nervous or something <clears throat> when you're going to touch their eyes, but I do it quite a bit. So my horses just say, yeah, all right, fine. And you just sort of sort out those little bits. And being able to touch just in here, just in this corner, is a very valuable thing. When you got a little bit of Lena hair on your... There we go. Oh, here she comes. Hello, Lena. She says, enough of the eyes. Can you scratch anything that's white? Yep, no problem. I can hear horses behind me. So we've got a little bit of trouble going on over here. Watch what happens. I think Yoka's gonna yell a little in a second. Oh, my hands are covered with Lena fur. Yep. Funny how she came up perfectly sideways with him for a little bit there. <clears throat> it's unusual for her. Interesting, all the same. She still needs some Luke time that I guess he hasn't been willing to give her just yet. There we go. Search and rescue helicopter. Way up there. If anybody cares. They're usually quite noisy because they're very powerful. And we get quite a few around of, the, of those, quite a few of those around here. Uh, due to the mountains being close by and parks and stuff like that where people can get lost in. Or get hurt. Oh, Gracie's got to make a move. It's not good. So we kind of end up having two and a half herds. This guy kind of migrates between the two of them, depending on what he's thinking about. Oh. <laughs> and then a lot of times he ends up sort of just hanging out with Roni. A couple of cool bachelors. Oh, Lena. How finicky are you? One week you love them, next week you don't. Hi, Gracie. How's it going? Somebody's rolling. Luke's rolling. I know, you really love a good face rubbing. She does this on her own. She moves her head up and down. Shake! I'm still working on training that. Where do you want? Look at her grumpy face. Such a grump. Scratches. Everybody's shedding. It's uh, slowly getting rid of their winter fur. Bit by bit, hence probably why they're so itchy. Oh, I never know where everybody is sometimes, especially when they're split up like this. I'd almost rather than be at her. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna come sideways. Over here. <laughs> he says, where, 
where you were just oh he's moving that's a roundabout route he's gonna hang a left there we go <laughs> she says no not today gosh these two are cute and fun and he just loves it. She loves a good playtime with Luke. What now? Oh. Luke says, I'm not I'm not into Icelandics today. I like wildies. So if you're new here, actually come to think of it, gosh, if you're stuck in this long, Yoka's an Icelandic. Mr. Wild is a BC Wildy slash Canadian Mustang along with Annie. She's only she's coming on two years old. She's getting there. We've got Luke, who is an appendix. Uh, so I was told, right? He was coming behind me. Lena, who is an Oldenburg slash Warm Blood Draft. We've got Gracie, who is an Arabian. And last but definitely not least is Roni, having a, a little play fight with Mr. Wild. Bite him, Roni. Oh, he chooses to go to for the legs. He wouldn't bite you, would he? He was thinking about it, and then he decided not to. So, an eclectic group. Um, no two horses are the same in this bunch. Other than just being amazing. It's seven amazing horses. That's about it. See if I can lead him over to Roni, who is over here. Oh, he's leaving, because Yoka's coming. What is she gonna do? Nothing, she made a tread by. The actions of horses are fascinating. I don't know how anybody can't be fascinated with their behaviors. And they seem pretty interested in our behaviors. Oh, my hand's gonna be covered in here after this. Bring a brush, everybody says. You know how much of a pain in the butt a brush is? It fills up with hair so fast you can't get it off. It's... Go quick. Escape fast. What? <laughs> Looks down for another roll. Annie, that is really close. There's a video that I put up <coughs> where um, probably many of you have seen it. It's a short, attracted a lot of attention, something like 700,000 views. And it's been fascinating. I might just do a video just about that, but I'll mention it here because I'm looking at Annie at the moment and thinking about it. Anyway, so she's rolling over in slow motion. She ends up kicking Mr. Wild in the face. Just a little knock, nothing big. But I titled it... Oh. Uh, she kicked him in the face, because she did. She bonked him right in here, and then she kicked his chest twice on her way uh, rolling over. And it was fine. It was amusing. Nothing nothing bad. Nobody got hurt. But holy smokes, the comments that people write um, that uh, he didn't actually get kicked. <laughs> you know? He's, what? Some people were really, really angry. That they were expecting a horse to get kicked. They were almost hoping for it. That's not a kick. This video's stupid, kind of thing. It's like people go around on the internet looking for a horse to get kicked. And there are probably plenty out there. Oh, he's not getting very happy with me. Do you see him? Can you see a difference in his movement and his face? His eyes? Okay, I'm sorry I had to surprise you, but your attitude sucks. <laughs> See, what I did was a little bit unfair, and it's good to recognize that. Um, oh, you got some agu. There you go. Um, it's good to recognize that I've sort of led him around. It's, it almost might, be, might not be a lot different than the carrot scenario, where I've given him a scratch, I've given some draw, and then I continue to draw him around, and then walk away backwards with that. 
with he's got he's oh Ronnie's rolling. He's gonna have an expectation of something uh, that he can continue to sort of move me around a bit, and then suddenly I tell him to stop. Get him, Roni. Oh, let's got to do the other side. Um, so when I stop and I sort of get sharp for a second, it's going to be a surprise and a little bit unfair, maybe. There's going to be so much hair in the Serena. When I go to harrow it, the harrow fills up with hair. That's why it's called a harrow. No, it isn't. I don't know why it's called a harrow. What's Ronnie doing? Oh, here he goes. I'm calling the Sandman. So, um... Yeah, a lot of really angry. Some people just thought it was cute and it was adorable and it was good and everything, but quite a few people. It's a, been an interesting uh, sort of experiment in human psychology, to be honest. Watching people lose their minds over a video. It's just a video. Get on with your life. See, now I give him, give him the expectation that I might do something and he comes over. I reward it. I say, yes, sure, please approach me and force me into grooming you and... Good to play with their ears. You should always play with a horse's ears. Don't hurt them, obviously. But they move freely. He's not fighting it. He's not moving away. I'll give him his scratch that he wants. That's fair. Uh, it has the added benefit of filing down my fingernails. <laughs> Seriously. No joke. I will have shorter fingernails after this. It'll be filed down to my fingertips. Which oddly is desirable. At least for a guy. Watch his mouth. It's important. It's a little bit back. A little bit over, a little bit over here, down, forward. Nope, back. Right there. Yeah. You're welcome. Ah, here comes Annie. <laughs> you told her. Okay, buddy, I'm all done, okay? So this time I'll be fair about it. If he chooses to follow me, I'll tell him to stop. But he doesn't. Back to these two. Can hear somebody coming. It's Yoka. So I'm gonna let these guys play around quite a bit. This has been a long video. I got lots to do. My hands are getting chilly. So I need to get working and moving around. <laughs> no, I just I don't want to anymore. Back. Ugh. We'll find somebody else to groom you. Actually, there isn't anybody. Maybe Roni. Roni doesn't. Let's do get along okay. Speaking of the devil. Chomp. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm too zoomed in. Sorry, man, he didn't want to co groom with you, but uh, I don't either. <laughs> I feel sorry for you now. You tried, you really tried, but he didn't want to. He wanted to chomp on you. Stress relief, I guess. Chomp. You know that is. Oh, Yoko's got her Luke time. Adorable. He didn't do quite the right thing. He's not got it quite yet. So she's got to chase him down for some more. Looks like you give too many mixed messages. It's confusing. 
What's next? She's so short compared to him. Oh, here comes Annie. And Mr. Wild. There's a whole crowd here. Better zoom out a little. I like watching Yoko's communications quite a bit because I consider it to be more of a, uh, I don't know, experience or, hi Luke. Oh, bite her in the eyeball. Hey buddy. I guess I don't really spend that much time with you in the arena, do I? You're usually very busy with the girls. Here, let me, give me the other eye. Let's see, up. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Take, come here and stay. Stay, <laughs> please. Stay there. He says, I don't want the eye cleaned. It's fine. It's like a kid telling their mom to get lost. Okay. Where is it then? I don't see you chewing on my fingers very often. Yes, they are a little salty, I guess. Not for chewing. There we go. Not too interesting today. What is happening? Ah, here comes the butt. Alright, fine. I was going to end the video, but here we are still. Everybody likes a good butt scratching. Not that side. And dock, this is the top of the tail, it's called the dock. Looks a big fan of this being brushed out and scratched. Okay, good enough. You're welcome. Aw, what are these two doing? Quiet time. Everybody's super quiet. And the sun's coming out. It's a beautiful day. So, time of the horses. Hopefully, that's been enjoyable. We've got some great weather coming through for just a little bit. Once the sun makes it through the trees a little more, the horses will all stand around in the sun, get a suntan, a little rest. It'll feel good. Luke. And he's his headrest. Comes Gracie for whatever reason. It's unusual for her to leave Lena's side. What is she going to do now, actually? Oh, nothing. Cool. Okay, well, there you go. That's horsey playtime for the morning. It is uh, nice and early still. Lots of things left to do, obviously, in the day. And uh, if anything else kind of interesting happens, I guess I'll try to get out here and snap a shot of it. But otherwise, hopefully that's been good. You've enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.